So how do you think a dentist like me would get pulled off a podium at a medical conference? Well, it all began because I talk about the truth of flossing. What is really flossing all about? What does it do? What doesn't it do? What are the dangers? What are the benefits? Let's talk about it. So conventionally, why is there this whole thing about flossing? Why do people floss? Well, I think everyone will agree that there are a percentage of people who want to avoid cavities. That's why they floss their kids' teeth. There are people who actually want to prevent gum disease, and they found that gingivitis went away when they flossed. But it's a bigger picture than that. If you look at the long-term statistics, if you look at where we're going, people in America, by the age of 65, 97% of people are struggling with cavities, with gum disease, with repairs of fillings, recurrent decay, all these problems. And believe me, those people are all people who care about their teeth, or many of them, and they've been flossing their whole lives. So why isn't this working? Why doesn't it work when you get to age 65? Why maybe does it work for somebody who's 25 years old? Let's, let's unpack all of these things that don't make sense. Food that's stuck that you need to floss away or flossing between your tight teeth is kind of removing the substrate that is feeding the bacteria. I mean, the image I want to give you is maybe you drop some a little bit of uh, honey toast on the floor and you look down uh, outdoors and you see all these ants coming to the honey toast. That's not what happens in the mouth. Most food that gets stuck is actually fibrous. Most food that would get stuck is something stringy, maybe a piece of meat, maybe uh, some apple. Something like that is most likely to get stuck in your teeth. To break down to become a substrate for bacteria takes about four, 24 to 48 hours in most cases. The food for plaque bacteria are sugars and carbohydrates. What you need to think about is the minute you put a candy or sugars or carbohydrate in your mouth, the digestion process starts instantly. And that digestion process has nothing to do with your teeth. It's in your saliva. Your saliva has enzymes called amylase that breaks down carbohydrates into sugars. These sugars dissolve into the liquid of your mouth. So the minute you put something sweet, if I were to put some honey, or that's a bad example because honey may not behave exactly like all the sugars, but say a candy, into my mouth, it will immediately dissolve in the liquids of my mouth and my mouth is now soaked in sugars that feed plaque bacteria. No amount of flossing is going to get rid of that because it is a liquid. So the story of being pulled off a podium was actually at a preventive cardiology course. And I was talking to these doctors who were interested in preventing heart attacks and simply saying that plaque causes inflammation in the gums that inflammation we know as gingivitis can lead to the opening of pockets around teeth and the entry of bacteria that are very dangerous for our systemic health, for cardiovascular health, for many systemic problems. And I was suggesting that I feel if you have someone who is a heart attack waiting to happen, the idea of flossing in that infected environment, if they have gum disease, I would not use string to get rid of plaque that is causing the inflammation. I would prefer to use, first of all, xylitol for a long-term effect. It makes plaque slippery, it feeds good bacteria, and it resists, it actually helps the bacteria of your mouth resist the colonization by plaque. So long-term, regular use of xylitol is going to be far more beneficial to prevent plaque from forming than, than floss. Floss is instantly, right now, moving plaque around, but it does nothing to stop the long-term accumulations of plaque. Second thing is I like the idea of mouth rinsing. It swishes between your teeth without damaging the gingiva, the tissues, the delicate tissues that are around your teeth. And thirdly, if you have gum disease, 
you will have less risk of pushing periodontal pathogens, the bacteria of gum disease, into your bloodstream, which would be the worst thing we could have done. My suggestion is a complete mouth care system or strategy using xylitol, using mouth rinses, using a flossing toothbrush, using anything and everything at our disposal to clean around our teeth, to get rid of plaque on a permanent, almost permanent basis with these strategies. And then if you do have something stuck, try everything at your disposal again to loosen that stuck piece of food. And if necessary, yes, a piece of floss might be what you use. But I do not see floss as the way to cure gum disease or the way to stop yourself from having cavities. And lo and behold, I hear so many people say they brush, they floss, they followed all their instructions, and they still get cavities. That's because that isn't addressing the underlying problem. I hope I've explained it. If not, I have a book called Kiss Your Dentist Goodbye. The new second edition has been written after 20 years of answering questions from the first edition of this book. And I've really tried to explain flossing and why. Why flossing could be dangerous, when you could use floss. But remember, my opinion is that the more you floss, the more you will need to floss. And if you want to get away from flossing, you will need my complete mouth care system, the strategies, the xylitol, and you will need to give it maybe a week when you try other methods and then just see if less food sticks. So after I was pulled off the podium, I actually challenged the dentists who had pulled me off the podium. They, we were all part of a community called the American Academy for Oral Systemic Health. I was a founder of that organization. And in 2015, after this event, we had a competition. Let's see who's got the healthiest teeth. And if you're interested, there's a link below, and you can see the results of that competition. It was 2015 in Dallas, uh, medical testing uh, at the conference there for AOSH. And I uh, don't know if you know the spoiler, but I won. Mm -hmm.